What's going on guys, your boy Breezy here, the BMW plug himself. We're inside the M240. Let's do a cold start. Oh so so good. So so good. Oh my god! Yo! Jesus! Yo! We're gonna be talking about the M240 today. It's gonna be sick, it's gonna be a nice vibe. Myself, the BMW plug, and of course the man himself Lord. We're gonna be walking through this car, showing you all the features showing you the cost and just yo it's a whole vibe with the m240 b58 machine it's gonna be sick let's go i hope you enjoy this one let's go Slots. the active grill is now the grill so once you turn that car around this will actually open up as well to allow some air to go into the engine to cool it off and of course once it's down to turn the close off back to allow for better aerodynamics now another cool point about the M performance cars in particular they point out the serum gray insert down in the bumper here for the intake around the grill the kidney grills you can also see the serum gray and this is exclusive to the M performance cars. So on the M2, when that does come out, you'll not see that on the M2, you'll not get that on a 220 or 230, you'll only get it on the M240. And it's a way that BMW helps differentiate this car from the rest of its performance cars, or the rest of its model actually. Makes it very unique, makes it very special. And this is definitely within a you know, very special car. Alright guys, so I appreciate Lark explaining the phrase of the car. Now, of course, my name is Stefan, and I'm going to be taking you to the side and, of course, the back. So, coming to the side, you can see where the M240 has the 18 inch alloy wheel, and you can see that serium gray finish on the car that really makes it look beautiful. I love the matte finish to it, and just here, you just give the car a nice vibe, right? Also, underneath the wheels, you can see that bright blue calipers that really complements the entire look of the wheel, and not only that, but because BMW is celebrating the 50th anniversary, you find that you get the new BMW logo, right? 
that really gets, give you a throwback to the first time logo of the whole propeller of how BMW actually started, right? So, trust me, it's a whole vibe. I love it. Of course, can't leave out the M badge. That's it for me if the car is an M performance car. My you, the M package does come with the M badge as well, but I'll show you why the M performance is different from the M package. So, the reason why the M performance is different from the M package this, you don't get with a regular M package car, you only get with M performance. Might you, someone can add it to the car, but why add it when it's not an M performance car? You understand? So you get the serial gray, um, the serial gray mirror caps, right? With the, of course, the M finish coming around to the side of the car. You can also see where the new design M240 comes with a seamless door handle. Now everything is just flush. Like it's so flush, I love it, right? No more grabbing and pulling, literally just place and lift, right? Frameless doors gives you a sportier vibe, and I mean no more frame, so you can literally wind the window, wind down, I have all that. So the M240 not only give you performance, but give you a crazy sport vibe on a weekend, whichever way you want to do it, right? Also, you can see where the, the line of the car, you can see that body line is a little bit more precise in the M240 that gives the car a, a stronger presence on the side, you understand? And not only that, but even the side skirts, it's a little bit more design, it's a little more angular that really gives more aerodynamic like down force to the lower part of the car. So that's pretty decent as well. Come to the back of the car, again, this is an M240, it's an X drive, so all four wheel powers and go forward, right? So the rear wheels, same 18 inch alloy wheels, right? When you look at tires, and just in case you might end up getting a puncture, you still can travel 80 kilometers forward once you're driving 50 kilometers, all right? Coming to the back of the car, again, with the new design taillights, you find that that BMW language is so strong around the back, it's crazy. I love how BMW actually added the shutter line um, image or the shutter line concept to the headlight where everything is blacked out around the hosing and you just see the red inside that really gives that strong presence from the rear of the car, right? And if you should come down, you see where you have the reflector right here that, you know, of course, when you're traveling at night and someone is behind you, they can literally see what's up even if the light is not on because of the reflector at the back, right? Cannot leave out the trapezoid exhaust. Again, you will know once it's an M240, you will see the cerium gray tips, right? Because only the M car comes with the cerium gray. That's natural. A regular 220 would naturally come with two small pipe, and even if they should add the trapezoid pipe, it wouldn't be a cerium gray, right? And I don't think you can actually add the trapezoid pipe to a 220. Can you? Hmm. I've never seen that happen before. So, only the M240 comes with this one. You're getting the serial gray extra patch, you're also getting the serial gray M240 patch, right? And again, this differentiates the fact that you have an M performance car than a regular car. So, anybody that should pull up behind you and say M240, they're gonna settle them keckle, you understand? Because this is our machine, and of course, the BMW 50th anniversary logo patch. Love it. The new diffuser at the back really gives the car again a strong presence from behind. So when you see the M240, you see now a whole different language of the car. The car just makes you want, drive. Right? The car just makes whosoever is driving behind you want to come out of the car and come in your car. That's the type of image and presence that the car have on the street. Alright? So we're gonna go around the car, I'm gonna have the Mandalore explain more to you and we're gonna give you flow. Alright? Let's go. So here we can see you have the trumpet spoiler, right? In addition to the fact that it has a slight ducktail spoiler as well. So quite a bit of done for as well. The all new L-shaped LED tail lights. Typically this would have been turned up the other way around for BMW, but it's a new car, trying a new design. Definitely looks very interesting and it's a very striking um, lighting element as well. Now, one thing about these lights is that they're not just geared for the pretty looks. Now, these are actually dynamic, so under heavy braking, these will actually flash to alert the drivers behind you that you're doing some heavy braking. And if you should come to a complete stop, the hazards will automatically turn for safety purposes. Now, here we are the Half Meister King, another signature of this element of BMW. It gives the car the pressure that it's moving, even when it's at a standstill. Alright, complemented by the shadow line, the 
channel line rail line package. So all this is fully blocked out. Again, adding to that supporting element. Now let's take a quick step inside. Larger doors for the coupe because of course you're going to need not only a good way to get in for the driver, but for your rear passengers as well. Because even though this is a coupe, you can still go for passengers. So you have some practical to it. Right. All new design for the ambient lighting. You now have the M colors here in the door. You can see right here. Got it. Blue contrast stitching all around. You have your M door sill as well. Alcantara and leather sports seats. So it helps to keep you planted in your seat a little bit. You don't move around as often. Right? Especially like on the heavy, heavy corner, well, heavy braking fast cornering, you definitely want to have as much stability in your seat as possible. M Sport steering wheel, Live Copy Plus, again it's a very elegant interior, even though it is a sports car at heart, you still have to have that luxurious element because there are times when you're not going to be doing 200 kilometers an hour, right? although you should be doing it on the public road, but you're not going to be doing that all the time, right? there are times when you just want to put it in, sport, like put it in comfort, you know, you and your girlfriend just cruising along, or maybe your girlfriend's the one driving, you never know. You do have some some really awesome female drivers out there. Big up on yourself. So, y'all just out, y'all just cruising on a nice Sunday, heading to Little Ochi, eat some fish. You definitely want something that you can just hang out, you know, play some music uh, with the hi-fi speakers. This is going to be giving you some excellent tunes. Not only that, you do have your wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, so you're getting the most crisp, the cleanest quality you can get from your audio. Right? And I'm a big music man myself, so that is usually a huge thing for me. So, switching over to Tafari. Big thank you to my co-worker Lark for staying in the side and of course inside the interior. But there's something that he missed out that I'm going to show you right now. So, for a tall passenger like me that wants to go in the back of the car, how do we do it? So there's actually a little thing here at the back of the car we actually pull. And what that does is have the seat adjust itself automatically forward. Right, so fully powered seat for passenger and driver. And for me, you can go around the back, you understand? So, tall people, don't worry yourself. It can actually work. So if I should do that, you'll come back. Might be a little bit tight, but it can be adjusted by just handling that. All right, so, Simple way to get out, just tilt, lean forward, the seat adjusts forward, and you're good to go. But being a rear passenger in this car, it's not actually bad, you understand? I mean, it's a coupe, it's a small car, naturally, it's just for uh, two persons, and probably some children, you know, it doesn't matter, but as five adults, I won't recommend it, but it's a possibility it can happen, because I've brought five adults in this car before, and it works, right? So, you do have, a little area right here that you can store your phone and probably your suite and all that good stuff but you do have the luxury of enjoying this massive panoramic sunroof in the car so i looked and uh you do have uh, also a rear ac so you don't have to feel too hot in the back of the cool so it's pretty decent so nice stuff right lovely lovely i mean guys you must be wondering how much does that m240 actually cost right I know price is very important. Today, watching this video, if you hit us up, you can probably figure out a nice price for you, right? But naturally, the starting price for this car is 15295 right? And uh, if you link us today from this video, you can probably actually figure out the price for you, you know? Then walk you through the monthly payment, walk you through the financing, make you get into the M240 the easiest and the seamless way possible. Right, we do that here at BMW. Myself, Tafari, and of course my co-worker Larry. We reach out to any one of us. You understand? We have the Instagram club, we have the Instagram handle, we have the regular phone calls. So see that stuff. If you want to see me, DM me on Instagram, the BMW plug himself. If you want to link Larry, you can DM me on Instagram, Larry at BMW. Whichever one of us will help you to get into your BMW today. I'll be that N240. By the way, it's just an exhaust performance. My miss.
pulling up against a four wheel drive, 384 horsepower, 500 newton meters up. Second is it. Understand? But it's going to be a complete wide drive in this car. You can own it today. I have the key. Just come pick them on. Big up on yourself. Thanks for watching. And also, if you do like this video, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And yo, we out. Which video or which car do you want to see in the next video you want us to feature? Let us know. I'm myself on the Lord. Well, I'll make it top. That's it. I'm jumping that truck now. Maybach.